Now, turning to other stories, senior finance lecturer at the University of Ghana Business School, Dr. Benjamin Amwa, says he expects the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana to reduce the policy rate as it heads into its first meeting for the year next week. The business community has called for a reduction in the policy rate, citing inflation decline, but some analysts have cautioned against any knee-jerk reaction. However, Dr. Amwa says a decline in inflation should send a positive signal for the policy rate to be eased. He spoke with my colleague Jesse Agbapo, who asked him about Fifth Solutions' projection of the policy rate reaching 22% by end of year. It is very possible that the policy rate reduction of 800 basis points will happen by the end of year. This is simply because inflation rates for the past three months or four months have been declining. And if you look at the factors that influences their policy rates, inflation is a major factor. So with the economy turning around and inflation rate declining, it will go a long way to reduce the MPC rate. We should not also forget that once the MPC rate reduces, the Ghana reference rate will also see some reductions because the MPC rate is about 40% in the weightings that goes into the Ghana reference rate. When that happens, loan rates or being equal will also decline accordingly going forward. So we should be expecting that as inflation keeps on declining, the monetary policy rate will also decline. Hence, Ghana reference rate will decline and then cost of borrowing will also decline. Generally, what would that mean for the economy, talking about the real sector? Okay, so for the economy, once you have MPC rate declining, Ghana reference rate will decline. Banks will have to readjust their rate on loans downwards and the cost of funds will be cheaper going forward than it is currently. What it means is that businessmen and women who source for banks, who source for loans from banks can fall on the banks to request for loan facilities and they can expand and do more good business. Once they are doing more good business, they are likely to employ more hands. More hands will be employed and individuals will have funds or salaries to take care of their families. So if the trend should go on the way we are seeing it, then it will be good for the economy. The MPC meeting by the Central Bank will take place next week. And with inflation coming down in December, what are your projections? Okay, with the rates and how the inflation rates have been declining, it is very possible that the Monetary Policy Committee will reduce the MPC rate. We have gone through three successive declines in inflation. And that should inform the Monetary Policy Committee to be sure and be confident that rates within the economy or price levels are declining. Hence, they will also have to look at their model and then to reduce the monetary policy rate. So I am expecting a reduction in the monetary policy rate in the next monetary policy briefing to the press. So inflation has reduced over the months, but people have been calling for a reduction in prices of goods and items. But some business associations are lamenting the fact that other factors are accounting for the high prices. So do you think people calling for reduction in prices is good at this time? Because business associations are also talking about the fa other things that are making the cost of business very high. You know, when it comes to the price makeup of an item, you have the input side where the suppliers of this product or the manufacturers of the product, goods and services that we consume, will have to pay for. Now, the current items you are buying from the shops and on the market have been paid for with inputs that the suppliers and the manufacturers paid for some months back when inflation was high. Until we have a sustained reduction in inflation, it will be difficult for businessmen and women, manufacturers and producers, to quickly reduce prices. We should not also forget that the fact that inflation is on a downward trend doesn't mean that price levels are not increasing. Price levels are increasing, but it's just that the rate at which they are increasing is what is declining. So those of us who go to the shops to buy, what we'll be seeing in the short term is that we are going to be seeing a slower pace of price increases going forward than it used to be in the past. There's going to be price stability 
going forward than it used to be in the in the past. It's not going to be the case that prices are going to decline from let's say 10 CDs to 8 CDs to 7 CDs. That will only happen in a situation where we have had a sustained de inflation. Most importantly, deflation that we can think about that. But the way it is, we'll have price stability and not reduction in prices. So the economy is looking good. At least prices have been stable relatively. We are hoping that 2024, we are going to see a lot of you know, uh, stability on our macroeconomic front. Interest rates, exchange rates, crude oil prices. If we are able to get some level of stability in these macroeconomic indicators, and we also are able to have what we call you know, um, enough revenue in terms of tax revenue, with the disciplined promise from the government are not to overspend in election year, then 2024 will be a good year. On the other hand, if we are not able to see the much needed stability on the macroeconomic front, and the government is not able to mobilize enough revenue, then things will not be so different from what we had in the past going forward.